Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Same as far as I'm. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. We got another one from Ballast Point Brewing Company. Uh, they're out of San Diego, California. This is their Big Eye IPA. Uh, we've done the Sculpin, so this will be the first time I've had this one too. So uh, It's from the Ballast Point Brewery, like I said, out of San Diego. American IPA coming in at 7.0 ABV. The food pairing the cuisine is a curry to tie. The cheeses are peppery, Monterey, blue, sharp, uh, pepper jack. Uh, you're more pungent cheeses with your IPAs. Even Limburger and Gorgonzola uh, cheeses will go with this. Uh, the, the meat for this is uh, poultry, fish, shellfish, and salmon. Glassware is pint, mug, stein, becker. Anything you want to pour it in, just pour it into something. The beer is not recommended for extended cellaring, even though it's 7%. It's an IPA, guys, so... Well, what I say, it's going to lose its hoppiness. When they fill this beer, it's always full all the way up to the top of the label here, so that's your money's worth there. Let's get this one in the glass and see how close it is to the other IPA that we've done from them this gulping. Alright, it's in the glass. It pours a pretty clear beer. I mean, I can see the light bulb right through it, just like it's... Uh, it's like an amber lager. It's a little, it's a little more orangey, uh, amberish than a golden. So uh, looks like a typical IPA. Uh, got about a half a finger of head there. A nice creamy coating on top of it. Looks pretty good in the glass. Let's get a nose on it, guys. All right, this is more. This is a more of a earthy hop smell than what the sculpin was. The sculpin was real bright and, and piney and, and citrusy and uh, I'm getting more of the uh, getting more of the malt with this than the real bright shiny hops that we were getting from the sculpin. The big eye is more of an earthy hop, uh, maybe a centennial or something. I'm not sure. It's got a good smell to it, but it's, it smells a little more bitter than what the uh, than what this cup was. Yeah, I'm still getting I'm still getting some nice uh, citrusy smell there on that, but not quite as bright and and uh, uh, I'm not getting any the mangoes or anything like that like I was getting on the other. So let's give it a sip, see what we got, guys. Cheers. Definitely a lot different than, than the other IPA, the Sculpin. Day and night difference between those two beers. This has definitely got a heavier malt backbone to it to me and more bitter on the back end than the, uh, than the, uh, the Sculpin was. So, uh, I'm actually getting a little more of the alcohol notes on this one too that I was on the sculpin. It may be just me though. Uh, this is more of an unearthly IPA. This has not got the, the West Coast, the average West Coast taste or smell. Still a good beer though. Of course, I've had this one too. So. Fry the fridge. We're going to let it warm up. See what we end up with, guys. So stick around. Don't know if it's going to get as good as great as the last one from them, but we'll see. Be right back. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Got a little bit left here in the glass. Uh, this is completely different than the uh, than the sculpin. Uh, this is uh, like I like I said before I left. Uh, 
This is more earthy, uh, dirtier, hoppy. They use Columbus and Centennial on this one, I think. So it's not as brighty and bright and real fragrant the West Coast style that uh, that the that the last one was. So that being said, guys, bye, Chuck. Steel that's got enough citrusy hoppiness to it with the Columbus and the Centennial that it's still got a great IPA. I mean, it's, it's, it's still, it's, it's not in the traditional West Coast style, but it's still a great IPA, guys. So, if y'all have had that, let me know what you think of it. Uh, great Beer has this at 98 overall and 98 in the style. So, it's still not the 100 that the other one got, but it's still a really pleasant IPA. The only thing I can hack on them again, like I said, no date on the bottle. No date whatsoever. It's not print, it's not digitized on the bottle, nothing on the label. So, Man, uh, IPA guys, you gotta have a date. So I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it to you. The nine on the scale. It's a great IPA. I mean, I really enjoyed it, but uh, I can't give it the ten because I don't have the date. And it's an IPA, so I'm gonna keep harping on that till these guys hear me. Can you hear me? So <laughs> if you hear me, let me know what you think, guys. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, and come on back. And on a little footnote to this, I, I've got the T-shirts uh, final logo uh, approved and. Uh, Everything's in the printing process, so those shirts should be available shortly, hopefully within the next couple of days. So we'll see how that goes, guys. And as soon as I get them things in, we're going to do a video of them, give y'all a shot of what they look like front and back. And if anybody's interested in it, we'll have a price, and and uh, we'll go from there. So we'll see what, see what that's about, guys. So uh, join me tomorrow. We're going to do another beer. See you then.